everybody and welcome to this video. For this video I'm going to be using pastels because I haven't really used pastels since I did my Jason Momoa portrait a couple of months ago. Now for me, the best horror was the 80s. Um, it's going to be drawn on Claire Fontaine pastel on my paper, which is basically a piece of card with like a like a sandpapery type of texture. It's great for pastel. And I'll be using black first because it's the darkest colour of the portraits. All this will be I don't know yet but I want blood splatter coming down here. And then maybe the black background. Maybe. Maybe I'll have it black bleeding off into this like aubergine colour, but I don't know yet. So I'm going to start with the eyes first, get these blocks in and some black and then start adding the colour over the top of the pastel. Okay, so I've finished the black undercoat to David now. Um, I've done this because, as you can see from the reference photo, the black is a very primary colour. It should help to make the colour stand out a lot more as well when I start adding in all the skin tones. Also, it's much easier to block in where all your shadows are and all your values with one colour of using all your skin tones to start off with because all I've got to do now is obviously find colour matches for all these pinks and blue, um, oranges and then when I shade them in just match them to the values that I've laid already laid down like it's blacker here than it is here and I won't keep some of this aubergine in the face I think I'm definitely going to go all black with the background on in of all this is blood splatter, so that'll be red. The colours I've picked so far, but with pastel you do use a, a ton of colours just to get what you want. There's like pinkies and browns, darker browns for shadows. Also, this burnt calming, which I tend to use in every single pastel drawing. I've ever done. Once you lay all these down you can go over in certain you know, shaded areas and it kind of blends them together better. It kind of brings the shadows out into the skin tones a bit more. But there isn't much skin tone on there in terms of colours. You know, it's very orangey, pinky and then when you get to about here there's very harsh light there and up here. So, I don't actually need to do much in terms of skin tone. 
the colours might not look exactly the same because I want it as purple. That's why I chose this aubergine background. I just start with the eyes first. And then once I've done the eyes I should be able to do the rest of it with confidence that I've picked the colours that I want to use. Face is fully blocked in now. As you can tell, I didn't go with the purpley idea up this corner. I kept the here and round the eyes. It just wasn't working up here. I didn't feel like it was getting dark enough to create the right values that I wanted. And the only place I really use skin tones is this side. And again, it just blends into pink again. It's been quite nice not conforming to uh, using skin tones because I can do what I want. And using just pink is a lot harder than I thought it would be because it's quite a light colour in value and it's very hard to darken down. Especially when at my idea of using purple. Purple makes through it and makes it into like a brownie colour most of the time, so you know that's why there's so many pastels here. <laughs> With me just messing about trying to get the right colours that I wanted. And obviously I've been adding skin textures. Just the background, the blood splatter and the hair to go.
been a lot of fun actually drawing in these colours. I hope the camera's actually picking up this bright pink. But you see the, the toughest part about this was like producing the like the skin textures in this pink. And like doing a stubble in this really dark red. Oh and the hair. The hair was a nightmare. You probably saw it in the video where I just kept going over and going over and going over. Almost missed out on putting his earring in as well. Don't know how that happened. We just kind of tucked away into the background then. But and I didn't go with the blood splatter in the end, I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. But like I said, that was like a two weeks ago or something, from my perspective. Mainly because it was drawing the attention away from the face, which is where I want you to look. There's too much going on, so I went for this red cloudy misty effect. Well, no, I think it's, it's turned out awesome, really. I probably wouldn't mind uh, darkening it off a bit more here. So you get more, you see more of this. Please like, subscribe and comment. And thank you very much for watching.